camel's probably the most misunderstood animal in Australia. To me, they're the most quiet, gentlest creatures. They're very uh, loyal to you. If they're out in the wild and it's a lot of lush tucker, really they don't have to have a drink of water for at least up to nearly three months. They're very vocal um, when they're eating, sometimes when they're mating. We should really be farming these instead of cattle. Either. And when they're happy, they do a happy dance, and sometimes they let out a couple of little squawks and grunts. And, all the young males have the and if um, one, one of the cameras is um, misbehaving, it'll catch a little bit of a nip and it'll let out a squawk as well. Yeah. They're a very social animal amongst themselves. Too. They need to be at, at, at least two. They don't. They don't like being on their own. That was the best best birthday present I ever had, and I couldn't believe it when the truck pulled up and these nine animals stood up and looked over the side at me. I just fell in love with them. Ah, it was the best feeling, and to meet them, they all nibbled your hands and smelt your breath and imprinted with you. Started, started with nine head. I'm up, uh, went up over 200. There's a lot of uh, misconception. I think it's be mainly because of his size. I think he's so tall, and uh, the people are daunted by the by the height of the animal, the size of the animal, and that they're cranky animals. They're not cranky. It's uh, more vocal, just a vocal display. They eat a lot harder, harder material than your cattle or your horse, and do well on it. They don't really compete with cattle unless it's, uh, I suppose, they're confined to certain or small areas. They have the most gorgeous eyes and uh, eyelashes from any animal I've seen. Um, their lips are split and they use the top lip like little fingers. They can pick up a grain of rice off out of a... Um, bucket of sand. And it's proved that, that uh, cattle uh, do, do better with, uh, in, when they're running with camels. Uh, yeah, if a weed control is another thing, especially where, the, where horses have been uh, confined in paddocks where there's a lot of woody weeds growing up, camels will clean that up. The bigger noxious um, plants like China apple, etc., prickly acacia, uh, the camels will kill them over a period of time if they graze properly. It's thanks to the Afghans that um, they bought the camel saber.